guys, I'm too. Remember, do the right thing, make good decisions, finish the semester strong, study extra hard for your exams, love one another, be nice, be kind, and stay friendly. Yes, you do the right thing everywhere and anywhere. If you see something, say something. Your voice, be your choice. Hey, the high school academic fair this Thursday, January 12th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at Sycamore High School. You can walk around the high school commons area to learn about all the various academic programs they offer. Each department will have staff members present to answer questions. I should definitely go. Th thank you all for wearing your red, white, and blue to support the recovery of Buffalo Bill player DeMar Hamlin and the work of our amazing Cincinnati medical emergency staff as well as our amazing Bengals and the Cincinnati community. You all look great in your USA colors. Yes, thanks so much. We are all grateful for his well-being. Let's keep him in our thoughts and our hearts. Thanks. Next up, did, did you know? know? Did you know that grapes light on fire in the microwave? Really? Yeah. Back in 2011, a physicist at the University of Sydney went viral after he placed a grape in the microwave and filmed the fiery aftermath. Wow. And oddly enough, scientists couldn't explain the phenomenon until quite recently. Of March 2019, study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences reported that the fruity fireball occurs as a result of the loose electrons and ions that cluster to form plasma when grapes get hot. Don't try this at home. Next up, National, national day. day! Today is National Bittersweet Chocolate Day. National Bittersweet Chocolate Day is on January 10th each year. Did you know that in ancient times, bittersweet chocolate was used as a medicine to treat a wide variety of diseases? Bittersweet chocolates are popular all over the world for their unique and intense flavor. It is used in all sorts of chocolate confections and desserts. And something is even better than when it eats in essence. Wow, I never realized how popular bittersweet chocolate is. Yeah. Also, make sure to come out tonight to support our 7th and 8th grade girls school basketball team at Princeton at 4.30 and 5.30. Yeah, I'll make sure to go do that. Hope to see some of you guys there. Now, over to Harper and Mr. Heil for our staff member recognitions. I'm here with Mr. Heil for this section of Born Sycamore. You're nominated by the students. Wow, sweet. Do you want to know why you're nominated? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, one student said that you're super funny, and there's never a dull moment in your class, and you're really nice, too. And true. Uh, oh, is it? And another student said that they chose you because <laughs> You are the only staff member that notices when a student isn't their normal selves or isn't feeling well. And they feel like that they can talk to you like you're one of their friends. And you are really understanding. And I'm the they, only one? Yeah. That, that doesn't? Yeah. Wow. It says so in the Google form that we made <laughs> to make sure you were nominated by your students. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your students? Uh, thanks. That was really enthusiastic. Thanks, everybody. Make sure to nominate your teacher. Next up, birthdays. We are so sorry that we missed birthday shadows this past weekend. Happy birthday to those who celebrate January 7th. Lamar R., January 8th, Samantha of 8, Veronica P., and Miss McKinney. Now, happy birthday today to James M., Malik H., and Evan L., have a day full of delight and happiness. Go do it! Now over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. Running Club, you're going to start today after school. Remember, you're going to meet at the launch pad across in the choir room, and make sure you've dressed appropriately for the weather. Weather, excuse me. Lunch, uh, you will end about 4.15, and parent pickup is near the track. So, Running Club, today after school until 4.15. We the People, your next meeting will be Thursday at 7 a.m. in the Media Center. 
Pre please bring your books and materials and complete the unit sheet assignment using the matching news articles like we discussed. And we've got a new announcement. This is for the GEAR Student to Student Forum, which will be on January 25th from 7 to 8.30 p.m. All right? 7th and 8th grade students, you don't want to miss this event. The Student to Student Forum is your chance to hear directly from a panel of high-flying aviators about their high school experiences. Ask your questions as you look towards your own transition into high school. Topics range from academics, testing, clubs, activities, athletics, traditional versus innovation lab options, and more. So this is open to all students, grades 6 to 9, and their parents. So that will be on Wednesday, January 25th. All right, you register at sycamoregear.org. All right, so check that out. That's it for me today. We'll see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a great day. Later. Thank you so much, Mr. Harris. Now over to Mr. DeJoy and Mr. Stern for our great characters of choice recognitions. Hey, good afternoon, Aviator Nation. Uh, Mr. Stern and Mr. DeJoy here to do this week's uh, Student Appointed Character Awards presented by Papa John's. And my character award goes, well, not my character award, I am just reading for a student who has nominated Annabelle Daft, and it reads, Annabelle is one of the kindest and most intelligent people I have ever met. She never fails to make me laugh, and she calls me out if I'm in the wrong. I can always go to her to talk about my feelings, and I hope I can continue to be friends with her for years to come. Yeah, it's really, really nice. All right, well, thank you. And, um, and I have um, a young man, Lincoln Hart. And this uh, person wrote, I am nominating Lincoln because he is very kind and is an amazing friend. He helps put a smile on my face every day. He also stood up for me when someone was calling me names and being mean. He always stays positive, which makes me stay positive. Lincoln, great job. It sounds like you're a fantastic friend and a well-deserved award. Yeah, I really like what they said about, you know, they're positive, therefore it makes me positive. I, I truly believe that we yeah. often act like the company that we keep. It's contagious. Yeah, yeah definitely. Contagious. So good company and good results. And yes. choose bad company, you'll probably have bad results That's that right. come along with it. So, yeah. hey, um, we will be meeting um, and, and awarding these individuals with their free one-topping uh, pizza from Papa John's. Uh, this week, I think you are heading to... I'm going to be in Mrs. Henson's room. And I will be in Mr. Hiles' room. Hey, we go to classes on Thursday, but you can make a difference any day of the week. Right, have a great day. Now, for our joke of the day. Why did the math book look so sad? I don't know. Why? Because he had too many problems. Ah, poor bookie. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, because we really do appreciate it. We will see you on Wednesday, Sycamore. And remember that you are special in every kind of way. Go Aves!